Well, I started playing the drums in 1963, and my parents uh, got me some very good drum lessons from a private teacher in the Boston area. And after two years on a practice pad, my teacher said he's ready for a snare drum. So I got a snare drum, spent a year practicing snare drum, and then for Christmas, I think it was 1966, I got my first drum set, but no cymbals yet. So then I got a job delivering newspapers for the local paper, the Brockton Enterprise, and saved up my money and started buying my Zildjian cymbals. And I still have my first cymbal. It was actually a 24-inch A-ride cymbal, very much like the Avitas line that is just out now. And then eventually I got some 14-inch hi-hats, the same thing, the A hi-hat. And then uh, from there I went to 18-inch crashes. Of course, my uh, musical hero at that time was the great Buddy Rich. So I wanted a, a setup very similar to Buddy Rich. And I actually still play a pretty similar setup when it comes to my crashes. I, I usually have two 18s or maybe a 19 and an 18-inch crash set up flat so I can hit the cymbal from the bottom and the top and, and get a, a beautiful a crash sound that freely sustains because it, there's no angles, it's just set up flat. So that's one of the things that I do now. When I was recording the early Journey albums in the late 70s and the early 80s, my setup was uh, somewhat similar to what I described as my original uh, ride symbol, 24 inch A. I had a very heavy 24 A ping ride, it was called. And then I used 14 inch new beat hi hats and 18 inch crash cymbals, A crash cymbals. And by the time we got into the early 80s, Zildjian was starting to make the cymbals a little bit heavier. And they didn't have quite the response and delicate touch that the cymbals of the 60s had, as far as I'm concerned. And that's one of the reasons I'm really happy with the now the addition of the Avitas line, because we can revisit that beautiful, tasty, very thin uh, crash sound of those 18s, and now I have some 19s. I even have a 20-inch cymbal that I'm using as a combination of crash and wash ride, like a very nice washy ride, symbol kind of the, like the sound Ringo got on the, on the Beatles records, which is still, it's a great way to lift a chorus or a bridge and just, you know, play part of a tune on a washy ride like that.